all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Lady Elaine Fairchild from the classic children's series, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Let's get started. Here she is, Lady Elaine Fairchild, which in my opinion is a pretty scary character. <laughs> She's kind of one of like the scariest or freakiest looking puppets I've ever seen. She's got that burnt up looking nose, which we're going to create with Crayola Model Magic and some weird high cheekbones we'll also create with the Model Magic. But for the costume, this is what we have. I went on Amazon and purchased this plush lobe. It zips all the way up to the top, has a kind of an enclosed neckline, which is perfect for this character. This is the closest thing I could find, and I will put in the description down below exactly what I typed in to find this particular robe. I also have a black turtleneck. It could be any turtleneck, because your arms aren't going to show, even if you have, and I would recommend in the Florida heat, some kind of a tank top with no sleeves would probably be better since you're wearing the plush and keep you cooler. We don't know how the weather's going to be in October here in Florida. So I have a piece of lace ruffle that I purchased to go around that neckline to create that ruffled look that she has. I have some medium sized styrofoam balls, which we'll use to create the buttons, some electrical tape, which I'm going to use to mark off the buttons because they're half blue and half red, which I will be using this acrylic paint for. You'll need a paintbrush. I'm going to do just black opaque pantyhose and black shoes, very simple. And also you'll need like a piece of cardboard or something to create the sort of boomerang looking piece that she's always carrying around in her right hand. And I don't have the wig yet, but when I do the finished product images, I will include the wig. I know exactly where I'm going to go to get it. Let's get started on this. child costume and I really couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out I think it's perfect it's gonna look great and such an easy transformation from this simple robe that I got off of Amazon to Lady Elaine uh, I already had the gloves the shoes I did buy a wig it was only six bucks at this thrift store that I went to so y'all never saw that I did cut on it a little bit so it looked a little bit crazier like her hair does and then I just wanted to share with you that the lace that I purchased around the collar for around the collar was very lazy. It wanted to lay down and not stand up. I tried spray starching it, it didn't work. So what I did was I actually glued toothpicks in there, hot glued toothpicks in there, and now it stands up like I wanted it to. I had added this piece in because the original robe did not have this part that goes all the way across the neckline and I just added a little velcro in there so that I can connect it. I took the extra material from the inside of one of the sleeves. I didn't bother to hem it back or anything. It's just a costume and it's standing up fine on its own. Didn't really affect it much but that's where I took the extra material and just hemmed it and sewed it up here to connect that neckline. But that's it. Let's get started on our makeup. Let's do our makeup. For this one it's a lot of like just regular makeup you're going to be using, possibly uh, contour or dark shades of brown eyeshadow. Uh, you're going to need black liner. I've got black liquid liner, black regular liner. 
I've got concealer. Of course, we've got some Model Magic. I just got some fresh. It's actually on sale at Michael's for buy one, get one free. So I got like four packs. This should last me for months, probably through half of next year. You're gonna need some spirit gum adhesive. I made a stencil for my eyebrows. It's gonna go a little something like that. Boy, that's hard, I can't see. I might need to cut so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more. But anyway, that, I've got this NYX palette. She does wear a, a baby blue eyeshadow. Now I've seen her in pictures where it doesn't look like she has any eyeshadow. And I've seen her in some pictures where she has the baby blue. So we're gonna go with the baby blue. Always remember that anything that I use in this video, I will put in the description box down below exactly everything that I needed to create this look. So I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Even if I'm just going at it, it will be in the description below. And if you ever have any questions about how I did something or where to get something or, which I also try to put down below, but if you're, uh, if there's something that for some reason I've excluded or just forgot, you can always ask me in the comments. I get back to you pretty quick. I'm not a big deal on, on YouTube. Just not a big deal at all. <laughs> I'm working on it, but I'm not there. So uh, the first thing I want to do is my eyebrows. I kind of start always with my eyebrows and then work my way down. So that's what I'm going to do. Probably next we're going to go ahead and form our nose. Ooh, my contact. <laughs> My contact looks weird. Uh, I do have contact lenses in, but they do get turned around and they look kind of funny in, in the footage. But contact lenses are optional. It's just one one more step to go all the way, in my opinion. You don't have to use contact lenses. But Lady Elaine Fairchild had very bright blue eyes, and I had bought these anyway for a couple of other costumes, so no big deal. There, that's what we want. So this is my stencil that I made for my eyebrows. She does have thicker eyebrows. I'm gonna use a Ben Nye. This is the Ben Nye in Warm Brown. This is a water activated makeup. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, so you will need water and just dampen your sponge. Then dip into the makeup and start blotting away. I don't remember how I thought of this costume, but I'm an 80s child, early 80s, and Mr. Rogers was a big thing back then. Also, my maiden name was Rogers, so I couldn't get by with without knowing about this man. He had a pretty wild imagination as I was reading about Lady Elaine. Just how do you come up with this stuff? It's crazy. And just what she looked like, like she's frightening. <laughs> like she put any clown or doll to shame, really. So I'm just gonna put this over my eyebrow like this, this little stencil that I made. And this should cover my eyebrow. You want it on real tight so you're not getting any extra on any other parts you don't want painted there we go one eyebrow done kind of we're gonna do something else so i'm gonna flip it around i'm gonna get some brown on me aren't i anywho that's fine i'll just clean around it so we're gonna go like this and we're gonna do our other brow i want a little, little more brown so i'm going to go over it once again with just a little more of this Ben Nye Brown. You could do this with a pencil too, just kind of draw, draw them on. I just, my pencils, you ever had a eye pencil sharpener that tears up your pencils? Well, that's what I'm going through right now. I'm not very happy about it, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm doing my brows like this today, which should be fine because they're wild and crazy eyebrows anyway. All right, now that that's done, Lady Elaine kind of has these white marks inside the the brown eyebrow so we're just gonna if you want to do a group costume this is a great this could be a great group costume somebody could be lady elaine there's the king i think there's even a queen of the land of make-believe there is an owl all kinds of characters somebody can even be mr rogers it's especially great for a family group costume so your family can go as all the characters from Mr. Rogers. If you have a whiteout with the um, with the brush, like the old school whiteout, that'll work great for this too. Acrylic paint would probably also work with a small brush. I think it's good enough though, I really do. She has bushy eyebrows. It's okay, I think, if it's not perfect lines because uh, this is not, an, not a perfect <laughs> puppet. She looks uh, road hard and put away wet, as we say. 
I did see some great family costumes online, but I didn't see a lot of grown people, you know, like as groups doing it. But it's really cute as a family costume because it's a children's show. So naturally, it's going to translate very well within a family. It'll be very nice, very cool costume to do. So let's go ahead. We're going to put our nose on and I'm going to accent my cheekbones so that can be drying while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I've got my spirit gum adhesive. Hopefully it's not glued shut and it's not. If you ever get adhesive and it glues itself shut, just kind of turn it upside down and put it in some boiling water. It will melt and then you can take the top off. Don't throw it away. You need that for a lot of costumes. I got my, my Crayola Model Magic and we're making our cheekbones. As always, you're just gonna form it how you want and make the edges real thin, as thin as you can. I've found that by ripping, it makes the edges very thin. You're just almost making like a football shape with your piece of Model Magic. I'm not gonna go as crazy as I normally do because I've found that the bigger the pieces are, the more it doesn't blend, you know? So a little bit is enough and you can do a lot with makeup for the rest. You're just kind of trying to reshape your face a little bit give yourself a little more definition. And she definitely has some crazy cheekbones. And her nose, let's not even talk about it, it's crazy. She got a big old mole on it too. That'll be fun. Won't be the first time we've done a nose with a mole. We've done moles with our model magic before. Tearing this, the crazy crap is, <laughs> I went to work today at eight o'clock this morning. And then my chef had kind of messed up the schedule and I was supposed to be in at noon but it did say eight to four. So I was like, I'm gonna do this then today if I have the time. So I came home, I my makeup was perfect too. It was a perfect makeup day. I took off my makeup and I said, I'm gonna do this costume. And then when I'm done, I've got to put on the makeup that I went to work in this morning <laughs> again and recreate that look. You know what, it's look kind of like that. Ripped on the edges, very thin. Probably gonna use a little liquid latex to blend it. And I'm hoping that this works out well usually does so we're just putting this here and then with your pieces you're gonna want to put on a lot of the spirit gum adhesive be very liberal with it because that way your pieces will stay on now this is a very lightweight modeling clay so i've never had a problem with it coming off and i also like to use either mayron or ben nye adhesive i think it's a little stronger but you can use any spirit gum that you have it should work it's all really the same stuff i think this is just more professional quality so Naturally, it's just a little bit stronger. And I'm just applying very liberally, especially to the ends, those torn pieces. I'm gonna put a lot on the ends. So I'm just, I've got all the spirit gum on. It's a lot. And I'm just gonna press it on to my face. My nails always make indentions in the clay. <laughs> it's all right, no big deal. And I'm just, when you put it on, you can kind of manipulate it, tear some off, make those edges even thinner, or whatever you want to do. That's exactly what you want. You just want it to be... I've got a round face, kind of a pie face, because I'm chubby, you know? So things like this, it just helps make bring the costume full circle, you know? More pronounced cheekbones, and I mean, we're like practically three months out from Halloween. And I know you all always think I'm I'm joking around in the beginning of the year, like in January, we're literally almost to Halloween because it comes so fast. I mean, don't you think that, I mean, doesn't it feel like you were just celebrating Christmas and now here we are in August? That's crazy to me. It just, and my dad told me when I was growing up, he said, as you get older, the years are gonna fly. And you know, you never believe that stuff. It's like, how's that even possible? Whatever, like the same length of year but we're so busy in our adult lives with work and just everything that it does make the time fly and you're not always having fun life is stressful <laughs> sometimes you wish the time would fly and it won't <laughs> didn't actually see a lot of people doing this costume online i think i saw like three but this is a classic and it's scary as hell so i mean <laughs> You're looking for a scary costume to scare all the kids away this would be the one this would be very unique but also very noticeable people would know who you were and um 
I always love a costume like that. It's classic. If they don't, they're going to come up and say, Oh, I know who you are. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's going to be one of those things. I was reading online about this character and Mr. Rogers' imagination just went off with this character because this boomerang she carries around, it actually is a boomerang. I don't remember much about the actual show because I was young and I'm not, I didn't rewatch anything. <laughs> Maybe I should have for reference, but the it is a boomerang and she uses it for magic. It's like the boomerang, sumerang, schmoomerang or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this guy is on magic mushrooms or something because <laughs> who comes up with this stuff? It's crazy. And he had all these things that she did, like she was the medum at the school and, and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, alrighty, Mr. Rogers. I think he might have been a hippie in his younger years. Maybe went to a lot of festivals. So we have our cheekbones on. They're not exactly perfect, like as far as exactly the same, but they're gonna work. I don't make perfect stuff. That's why I'm on here on YouTube. Slowly pushing 700 subscribers. <laughs> like if I was perfect, I'd be having like millions of subscribers, but I made this for a specific reason and it was to help people that are like me and they're not really perfect. They just want to have a really good costume. That means a lot to me because that's why I got out of competing is because I felt like I was up against such talent that I just, I was out of my league at that point. So this is going to help you to have a great costume and at least be able to compete against them, you know? Because I definitely could. I, I did, there was a few times where I won second and third place. But I want to win, you know. I place to win. And uh, that just wasn't really happening a lot anymore. But you never know. It just depends on what co what contests you're going to. The ones that are big money were the hardest. The ones that are smaller money or bar tabs or even uh, gift cards and stuff like that, they're easy. They're easy to win with this kind of costumes. Because everybody's at the big money costume contest. <laughs> So there's a tip for you. If you want to win, just go to smaller contests and go to a lot of them, as many as you can in, in the weekend of Halloween. And you'll win something, I guarantee it. All right, now we're gonna kind of manipulate these a little bit and then we'll work on our nose. Now we're gonna start working on our nose. And Miss Elaine has a honker like you wouldn't believe. She smells everything that's happening in the land of make-believe. <laughs> Oh man, I don't even know if I grabbed enough model magic. <laughs> That's how big it is. I guess it would be. I gotta make a mole. I might do that separate. Yeah, I don't wanna mess up my little formation here. But her mole is kind of blended in. Let's see if I can do it. I'm just <laughs> kind of pinching it for the mole. Yeah, I was looking on YouTube. I didn't even see anybody really on YouTube that had done this costume. I think there was one person, it was like eight years ago, and she did a pretty good job. Once I've pinched it, I just push it down. That's kind of like how her mole works. And then I'm just going to just manipulate it. It's on the right side. So I'm just kind of pressing it now into my nose. Get the shape of your nose. It's important that you kind of press it around the shape of your nose. You don't want it to just look like a piece that's stuck there. You want it to look like a, <laughs> like it's your nose. <laughs> so I'm just pressing it and kind of pulling that clay. Like I said, when you get it glued on, you can pull it even more manipulate it even more so that it'll blend better. You're just ripping those edges. Got my little mole there, big mole. <laughs> All right, that's looking pretty good. What I love about this stuff too is you can do it so fast. You need a clown nose, anything. You just, it's fast and it doesn't cost $50. We got it about good. Just gonna liberal, liberally apply my spirit gum adhesive and I just I want to see it pulled up in there. This is going to be really strong smelling when you put it anywhere near your nose so just be mindful of that if you're like sensitive to smells. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and when it starts to kind of get tacky I want to just press it on a little more. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> kind of crazy. It's very well stuck on as far as I can tell. It's still kind of fresh, so I'm just gonna take some of my liquid latex now. This is Mayron liquid latex. I think most uh, liquid latexes are created equal. I could be wrong, but I just have the Mayron, so I'm gonna use a little of this to blend my edges. This dries really fast and it stinks, so I'm just gonna put this on around here 
to blend. If you even just touch it while it's tacky, it'll try to pull all the way off. So you gotta get it on real quick. We've got our pieces on our face. They've dried pretty well. I'm gonna start working on the rest of the makeup. So we have a NYX palette here. It's got a little bit of baby blue in it. I'm gonna go with that. And I'm just putting it on with my finger. Like I've mentioned before, I'm gonna put that on just like this and it doesn't have to be perfect because she literally looks a mess. <laughs> now the other eye. That's good, good enough. Now, put some foundation all over your face, including your pieces. We're gonna do our best to blend this in. And it's gonna look better once it's all skin tone. You put it right on there. Foundation. Um, you can even just use like acrylic paint if you wanted to. It would work. Uh, but just cover it right up. I think Lady Elaine is like the most memorable character from the whole show. I'm gonna go over my lips, put my foundation. I was hard pressed to like think of the others. <laughs> I couldn't remember all the characters, but she definitely left her lasting impression on Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. And I think she was one of his favorites too. There was a Mr. Rogers biopic. Uh, I think Tom Hanks played Mr. Rogers. And that was pretty good. I don't think he looks anything like Mr. Rogers, but he did a good job, of course, because he's Tom Hanks. But he did a good job portraying him. Now some of these lines don't blend perfectly. Um, especially when you're using the model magic. It wasn't really created for that, but people would have to get really up close and personal to notice, you know? So don't worry about that, the little things. Things that you can see looking at yourself in the mirror. What we need to do is I'm gonna take a makeup brush with a fine point I'm gonna use from my palette and I'm gonna start drawing some lines that she has in her face. She's an older lady, you know. So this is a Kat Von D contour palette that I'm using right now. You can use a brown pencil, anything that will work. You definitely want that fine point on your brush if you do use a brush. I've got a picture of her that I'm referencing right now. That's always recommended. <laughs> when you're doing a costume, to have a picture of the person you're doing. So it's not easy to remember all the details. Going just below the mouth with the smile lines. And then there's another line that she has going right here. And that pretty much almost goes to the bottom of her face. Now for the fun part. <laughs> These cr this crazy blush burnt nose look that she has. So we're gonna get our pink, our pinkest of pink, dark pink blush, whatever we've got. I've got this one. And I'm just going to go above this line here and start coloring it in. And you want as dark you can get it. <laughs> Same with the other side. And on the nose. I missed a spot. That's all right. Let's get it with the blush. I'm just doing this for you guys, so it doesn't really matter. I'd probably touch that up. Look at that. It was just stuck on. Looking crazier. Now we're gonna go on it, and I, I think we might do this with some black. I have my black out because it's such a dark. She looks burnt almost. So I'm gonna use the other side of my sponge, and I'm gonna go in with the black on top of what I just did. Fingers crossed it works. Oh, it's kind of coming off a little bit. Probably go over it with some brown too, just to blend it better. This brown from the Kat Von D palette, it's like a paste. <laughs> now I'm gonna do that palette go over right here. Let's do some of this dark brown over it. Just gonna do it with my finger. Kinda blend a little better maybe. 
And I'm just going to continue to do that on both of my cheeks. And I'll probably go over it once again with the blush. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy. Let's put our black eyeliner on. She's got it on top and bottom. This probably would have been easier to do before, but... Not a cat eye, just regular. And then on the bottom. We'll do the other. We'll do a little mascara. Now I'm putting a little white liner on my waterline. It's not the best wig for this, but <laughs> it works. All right, last thing I'm gonna do is the mouth, the weird mouth. So I'm gonna add a little more. I don't want my mouth to show, really. And her mouth, it would probably be better if you used a lip liner, but it dips way down like a Lucille ball in the middle and goes way up. Kind of a bow lip. <laughs> and I'm just going to color that in. Now, because it's a bigger lip, kind of want it to look... She doesn't have big lips. They're just funny shaped. So I'm just going to do a little line. As you can see, I had put my wig on. All I need to do is put on the rest of my costume. And we're done. See what it looks like without the lights on. It's much <laughs> crazy. All right, see you in a minute. All dressed up and ready for photos. for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. It's a classic Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and plenty of group costume ideas, couples costume ideas. If you like this episode, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video and I'll see you next time.